Parker. So I was getting ready to plan Parker's lesson plans for next week and I noticed that I probably really need to clean out some of her stuff that I use. Um, I have this box and like two more boxes and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity because I get a lot of questions about some of the resources I use, some of the things I do with Parker, yada yada yada. So I just thought I'd clean out one and show you guys what's in one. I'm not gonna do all three because we will be here forever. So, um, before I start, some of these ideas I did get from speech therapy, some from occupational therapy, some um, from different blogs, Pinterest, anything like that. There's tons of stuff out there. I will try to put everything in the description that I use, um, but some things I just, I thought of myself and then some things I just came up with. But um, what I was getting to, please consult your therapist because they have tons of ideas. And even your teachers, they love to get stuff. I've gotten some ideas from Parker's um, life skills teachers. Um, so definitely use what you have out there. And of course you can use this video, but I did want to say that. Okay, so let's get started. Bear with me because when I make stuff, like the lesson plans for the next week, I got to kind of get through all this stuff. And so I was like, let me just go ahead and clean this up. All right. So, and by the way, Parker hates when I pull this thing out because she knows we better do some work. All right. And so, let's see what we got here. We do lots of puzzles. She really likes puzzles. She didn't always like puzzles. Um, she gave us a fit with puzzles actually, and thanks to good old therapy, we were able to master the puzzles. And so usually what I do before we begin work, um, anything, we start off with like a puzzle because I just feels like it gets her mind stimulated. I don't have any proof on this. I'm just saying, you know, it gets her ready for work. So. We do lots of puzzles, lots of things, got different ones. Um, you can get a lot of puzzles for cheap and like Family Dollar, um, Dollar Tree, you name it. They really aren't that expensive. And they're really good learning tools. So we really hit home on the puzzles. Like, see, each one of these are bags, within bags of puzzles. And then I'm sure we probably still got some more that I hadn't got to sort through yet. So, puzzles definitely help with learning. Um, um, this is kind of what I use. It's her worksheet folder. I kind of use it for like quick references because she really likes her iPad. So, what we do um, before she can get her tablet or she likes the computer, we try to make her do at least one worksheet. So, this is how I do it. I kind of just separate it into like... Um, different tabs and I'll have like, I have math, I have um, writing, spelling, all that stuff in here. And I actually get all these worksheets from worksheetfun.com. I'll link that in the description. Lots of free stuff on there. I live on worksheetfun.com. And also another kind of, I guess you could say hack I use. Um, I use that and I probably do, if I'm being honest, it's probably in one of those boxes. Um, I used to have some sleeves that I bought on Amazon and they're really good for you if you want to use multiple sheets over and so I like to trace them um, like you you want your child to trace them but you don't want to like keep printing off different stuff I use like um just sleeves just put it in a sleeve I have tons and tons of sleeves it's cheap and you just put it in there and I just you know so that way she can just trace over it and you can just use um the work she's over again so i really do that a lot i just come in here and i pull out really quick um a worksheet before she can do a tablet um let's see what else we have in here oh this is fun we haven't done this in a while because parker knows her shapes but this is a really fun game um i don't know if you guys are whoever's familiar with nursery rhymes but there is this song called the shape song is the shape the shape song one and two it's really good so what i did is and i probably should have 
Don't laminate these. I did, but they're sticky because I put tape on the back of them. But if you do it, I suggest doing like um sticky tack or something. It makes this so much easier. But um, it's the shape song, okay? And I made this game up one day. It was raining, and she wants something to do. And we need to work on our shapes, and we need to work on following directions. So you get the shape song one and two, and it goes like um, let me think. It starts off with I can't remember what shape it starts off with, but it will say a circle, a circle. Can you make a circle? Um, and it, and it'll say. Can you make a circle? And it'll say, practice making a circle. And then it says, can you find a circle? And then it'll say, go. And it's like playing music or whatever. And then it'll start over again. Well, I printed off a lot of shapes. And I printed off like a sheet that said stop or stand here, not stop. And I made her stand there and I would the different shapes that they say on like the fireplace or around the house or whatever and so she would have to stand there before you know until the song says go and then when it says go she'll have to go find you know I mix them up and I don't make it too hard as she got older and she really became aware of her shapes and just got really good at this I, I started making them a little bit harder and spraying them throughout the house but initially, I um, and not like in the back room or whatever. They're still like in the same room. But um, initially, I just put them all like on the fireplace. Like you got a diamond, you got a circle, you got a star. All of them, I just stuck them up there, and then she would go find them, and then she had to stand back there. So that was that was really a fun game. And she really she never even likes it now, even though she knows her shape. Which I think she's just like racing to get it before it says it again. And these, these are little lions. This is a really good game too. That the same day I thought of the shape song, I thought of this because she really likes the song um, "Going on a Lion Hunt." So what I do is we kind, I kind of make an obstacle course throughout the house. We still do this one, um, and we're searching for a lion. And while the music is, music is playing, we're going on the lion hunt, going on the lion hunt. I'm sorry, I know I can't sing, just bear with me. Um, so, and I says, you can't go over it, you can't go over it, you can't go under it. So, I kind of make little mini obstacle courses. This takes some planning to do, and I usually do it if it's raining outside. So, I may like put a table right there so we can go under the table so we'll call under the table and then at the end wherever she spots the lions because i try to put like multiple lions up places and then you know she'll have to search for it and then she'll say it's a lion and then she'll have to you know and then we'll run back through it this is really fun though but it does take some prepping for that one not like the um the shape song so but I think I'm probably gonna toss these because she's kind of outgrown them and they're sticky. But like I said, don't don't do tape like I did. It will just make it harder. All right, so let's see. I also have some workbooks here. I thought I had some workbooks. I'm trying to group everything. Um, handwriting workbooks that we do. We do skills workbooks. This really good. Um, this is really good for skill building. And then I actually got this at Office Depot, but this is really a good book. And I wanna say it was $9, I'm not sure, but um, I'll try to link this too, but this is a good one. Um, let's see, stickers, nothing major. She loves stickers, so I try to do stickers. Let's see what else we got here. Um, so this, this is fun. This was actually, because I know if I don't say it, he'll talk about me. This one was actually my husband's idea. So I made a mistake and I wrote on our dry erase board with a permanent marker. Don't ask me how I did it, but I did. So I sent him to the store one day because I try to think of different ways to work on her handwriting and work on spelling. So I'm gonna work on spelling, handwriting, and just any kind of word format or whatever thin structure, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So I sent him to the store one day, or he was going to the store, and I said, pick me up a tri-race board. 
and he's like, I couldn't find a dry erase board, but I thought this may be a really good idea and something different. And it's just a message board. And she actually really, really likes this. Um, so I take them, um, well, yeah, anyway, we use this. I take it to the back and it has all the letters and the words in there. And she just likes to spell out words or whatever. So she really likes this and just put them there or whatever. Um, so it's just kind of a different way to um, work on spelling and stuff. So she really likes she really likes this. So that was his idea. So because I know he'll talk about me, he'll say, "Stop taking credit." <laughs> so he thought of that one. So that's fun. She really likes that one. Um, this is just letters. Um, I don't know where I got why well, I got this, but you know anything to work on spelling and. You know, tell me what I had in mind when I got it. I just get things sometimes I get out of hand. Um, more puzzles. Let's see. Let me see. This is a good one. Um, Melissa and Doug. I love Melissa and Doug toys. I have a lot of Melissa and Doug toys for Parker because they work on development and stuff. So this is a good one. Um, I may have another one in here like this, but it's just kind of it's the stickers and then. The, you probably did this as a child and decorated and stuff. She's not too fond of this one. I don't know why, but I do make her do it sometimes just for imaginative play. But um, Melissa and Doug, really good. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is another Melissa and Doug. She, now she does like this one. Um, it's just where you decorate the baby, not the babies, the little girl or whatever, the woman, the Barbie doll, whatever you want to call her. Um, and it has like nails and all kind of hair accessories. And so she actually did this one, I'm proud of her. Um, she did this one and she decorated the, the necklace and it kind of works on to like what we're supposed to have and what, so that's why I got this one. Um, like earrings on the ears, necklace on the neck and how the nails go in the ring. So this is really good for imaginative play and how to do certain things or where certain things go. Um, and she did this one too. She's getting really good. Let me see if I can. Let me see. Because when we first started doing this a while back, we haven't done it recently. She had the earrings on the head and the bracelet on the face. So we don't have the first one. I was trying to maybe see if I can show you guys progress over time. But she got good. So this is a really good one. Melissa and Doug. Um, let's see what else we have here. Oh, this is really good. So this is another way to switch up um, writing. I really, really like this one. Let me see if I can get close to kind of show you guys this. So I got this at Walmart. Actually, what is this? Um, Magic Sketch. I just saw it one day and I thought this would be really nice. And so she likes this. Now keep in mind, we do to break up doing the same thing over and over. I switch it up every week. So that way she can really appreciate it and enjoy what she's doing. And so she may not see this for two weeks and then I'll break it out. And so it makes her cooperate a whole lot more. But um, it's called Magic Sketch. And so it comes with like little things, like little writing tools. Let's see. I can show you guys. No one her. She's probably found a way to get in here. Okay. Um, so it can be blank and you write on it. I don't know if you guys can see I'm writing on it. And then it has a button at the end and you just kind of erase it. It's so fun. Even I like playing with it sometimes. And you just erase it. And they have like little inserts you can put in here. Let me see like they have little games so sometimes we do connect the dots they have learning we do these a lot when we spell um and now that we're starting to work on addition they do have little addition inserts and don't quote me on this but i think you can buy different ones but i'm not sure um free handwriting to practice just free form handwriting and then if they need help tracing, which we still need to improve on our handwriting, they have different numbers. And let me see. They have, let me see. 
drawing so you can like draw the outline of it and each one of these things has something on the back so this is really fun and so let me show you how you do it you just like literally insert it in here there's so many of these little things like they have so many in one look like it's really worth it and i want to say i spent twenty dollars on this it went bad so you put it in here Oh, I can move in here, of course, because I'm showing y'all. Okay, so, and then it kind of pops up here, and then they can just kind of trace it or whatever, and then when they're finished, um, they just erase it and start again. So, um, I really like this, and she really likes this. And it even comes with, like, little other things they can do, like fat pencils, um, little star things. Like, she just has a feel like this, so break this one out if I notice like she really really doesn't want to do any work um so but we need to do work so I'll kind of break this one out so this is really fun I want to say I got this I don't know when I got this I want to say two years ago but magic sketch is fun um let's see this is just her pencils and crayons at the major but because I told you I like dry erase so we do have the markers in here um, dry erase boards and the pencils these are really good I got these off Amazon if they have trouble um, with handwriting which I'm sure if they do you know teacher or therapist probably told them but I was just searching on Amazon one day for things to help her and you put it let me show you you put it on the pencil and let me see you put the two fingers there and it just teaches them the correct way to write and so here you go so we use these a lot because she has trouble with her hand formation on the pencils so that's good um nothing in here just crayons and stuff that we use to write um so another one oh these are good Velcro board. So Velcro, Velcro, Velcro. I don't have any here, I don't think, but you could never go wrong with Velcro. So what I did is I just took like um, a folder that I had cut it into, stuck Velcro on there for the next activities I'm going to show you. Um, like this. Teachers Pay Teachers is a really good resource. So use Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, you do have to pay for certain things on Teachers Pay Teachers, but it's really cheap. It's not bad. And I get a lot of things I use um, for Parker on there. So, and I put Velcro in the back. So say this is seven, and let me show you. I guess I can show you on here. Yeah. However you want to do it. So this is seven, put that at the bottom, and then, because she was having trouble with workstations in school. So I just kind of started creating them here. So she got better there. But usually I just lay them all out. But you'll get the gist Um, what I'm trying to say. I just lay them out so her, she can be able to choose. And she's gotten really good. Um, I'm just going to pick up one. So it'll be like, uh, say this is seven. Because I'm not going to search for it. And then this is seven. So she has to find the different forms of seven. So here's the ice cream cone the ice cream, and then the topping. So that's kind of, we do that a lot. So she really likes those. Well, she don't like those as much like other stuff because it requires her to have to think really hard. But she's gotten really fast and really good at doing those. So that's Teachers Pay Teachers. And I also got a lot of my other little workstations from Teachers Pay Teachers. This is a good one. This one is already done. I think we did this a couple weeks ago. Um, let's see. Get it out of here. Let me show you guys. So they have different little... You do like life skills on Teachers Pay Teacher. You can find a lot of this stuff. But um, so I Velcroed it. And then like things that you drink. So I put like... So to not overwhelm her, I put two categories on one thing and then the answers to them. And so that way she doesn't have to think too, too much, but um, 
and overwhelm her. And so this will have things that you write with. And so she has to velcro it all and, and all that. And I kind of just give her options. So these are really good. And they have more than just this. Like I separated mine with bags. But it has um, things that you wear and drive. Um, feathers, windows and numbers. So she has to get that out. Things that you read. Um, I didn't get to Velcro those. And then just different categories. This one is things that you have that have tails. Um, grow things that grow and play, which is really good. Grow and play, I really need to probably start doing that one because um they're working on things that are alive and not alive alive in school. So teachers pay teachers is really good. Um let's see what else we have in here. She doesn't play with this, but I use it to cut a lot of things. As you can see, I got I got too much stuff. I really need to clean all this stuff out. Um, let's see. More puzzles. I told you we really do puzzles a lot. And we haven't even seen these puzzles aren't even open. Um, her grandparents got her puzzles for Christmas. Let's see. Um, more puzzles. I told you we do puzzles a lot. And she really likes puzzles. Um this is a good one so family dollar has their silly string um on sale a lot and i think it's a really good incentive of course if you're not scared it's not toxic but you definitely want to eat it so make sure if they know not to eat it but i get this as an incentive and to work on like fine motor with her pushing and it's a good way to not always eat candy and stuff like that so if she does good with her um lessons and work we'll go outside me her and my husband and we'll have a silly string party and we'll just be squirting each other she really gets a kick out of this and i want to say it was on sale, on sale for like 50 cents so definitely check out um family dollar and dollar tree too so let's see what else we got here parker likes to flip through things when she learns um so i did make her book a while ago let's see this right here, if you guys can see it, um, but she likes to flip. So I just get like different coins out. So when we learn about money, when we're learning about money, I get different coins out and pennies. And probably, I probably should have um, cut that out, but she likes it this way. And I got this from Fantastic Fun and Learning. I want to say it's a blog because I get a lot of emails from them. I'll look it up for you guys, but they are really good. I get a lot of them. Plus, a dime. Um, she likes to flip through, and I just have other things in here that I do. Like, we were working on opposites, so I have big and small, and um, on the back. Let's see, I want to back. Okay, yeah, so this is the coin sort sorting. So she's getting really good at this. So I give her a real change, and I'll do pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and so she'll have to separate them. So she likes that. Um,. I like to laminate until it's getting expensive because I do have a small laminator. Um, I was laminating all her stuff and she really likes this. This is one that came from Teachers Pay Teachers, so she's laminating. Nothing major in there. Let's see what else we have in here. I'm gonna go through all this and just kind of declutter it. And this is just one of my boxes. Um, I guess I have two more in there. So let's see. Um, I did get these. These are really good because I do I do different things with this. You can see these are all these depots, like kind of what the teachers have. And sometimes I get them, and we may write sentences real big. She likes writing big, which we need to get out of. But it's a practice tool, or I may cut them up and make her write her words in them. So these are a lot of these, and these are nice. Um, let's see. It's just addition cards because we are starting to work on addition. Oh, one of my favorites. Okay. Snap words. If I think about it, I will post a picture of Parker doing snap words. But a while ago, I want to say um, a speech. Uh, speech. Yes, maybe speech. A speech pathologist told me about snap words. Oh, no. No, it wasn't. It was my mom who told me and the speech pathologist just told her somebody who's working in the school system but they're really good and they are on amazon so snap words um are the children's sight words but they draw them out in pictures let me show you what i mean and parker's speech improves so much from doing snap words and she likes them because she's getting fast at them 
so like here like that's them and then two but it just um it just draws out what they're doing so they can remember it better I really like snap words and Parker likes them too and the fun thing about snap words is they have books that come with them so this is they have I'm gonna say different levels we only got the level one because she got so good that we kind of we're gonna um well we have started reading, reading regular books more like Dr. Seuss books but this is, a, this is a good way to start the foundation so they have like this is level one and it has 12 in here and it'll go with what you're doing. Say like, and so I put a sticker because she mastered that book. She really liked that. But um, like this is book one of 12. And so they're really simple. And like that. And so what I've started doing since these are so simple and she's working on sequence in school, I will make a picture, copy a picture and then have her go through without the words and tell me kind of what happened. And that was actually a suggestion of her teacher. But, um, so this is a snap work book. You can also buy these on Amazon, but these go hand in hand. And like I said, I hope I can somewhere insert a video of her doing. Now, the most common question I get about snap work is, these aren't even all of them. Like, they have so many snap works. I, I haven't bought them all. Um, I usually buy, because it goes, it's organized in like, um, group A, group B, all the way to group C, I mean Z. And I think I'm on D or E, I don't know, but it can, you can buy them all at one time. Um, it was a little expensive for me, or you can buy one set, I wanna say for like um, $19. But I think you come out better if you can buy them all at one time. So this is this is what I did. We started Snap Words when Parker was shortly diagnosed with autism and we need to improve her speech. So we got the first set. And just to get her used to doing them, I started off with just three words, okay? I start off with three words, and we would do own, and we would do pick, and we would do ride. That's it, okay? So what I do is say, she's never seen these words before. She's just learning. So I'll say ride. See, it's riding. You can see it. So ride, and then, um, and then pick. And then before I go to the next word, now I'll say ride. And then I'll go pick. And then kind of circulate those two words. And then I'll do own. And so then we were having trouble with ride. So I'll go ride again. And so for the first week, I only stuck with three. Okay. And then when I saw she kind of started getting good, then I would start adding two more. And then when she started getting really good, I would add a word a day. And then before you know it, you know, she was like knowing all of them. So these are really good. I can't speak enough about tech words. And just FYI, none of these companies are paying me to say this. I don't have any or anything like that. I just like them. Um, so snack words are really good. We still do them now. Just like touch up on um, our reading and stuff. Or I see she's kind of having trouble with certain things before I got the snack words. Oh, let's see what we got in here. Laminator, I told you I like to laminate things, so I do keep my laminator on hand. That was only like $19 at Walmart. I think where it gets expensive is the sleeves, because so the sleeves were like, I don't know how many of these, oh, it was 50 for like $20, but still. If you laminate as much as I was laminating in the beginning, you may be better off kind of going to Office Depot. But little things here and there, laminator, you can't go wrong. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is our fine motor box. Let's see. These are some really good stuff. So I got a few of these ideas from Occupation. So these are little glitter things. And this kind of works on this, you know, just, and it helps with cutting and it helps with picking up or whatever, which cutting is what we were doing it for when she was having trouble. And so she was having to squeeze it out. And so she likes doing things like that. Um, of course, Play-Doh. Play-Doh is really good for everything, every type of play. These, now I know her occupational therapist told me about this. It's really good. So she was telling me to get two separate cups and have her pick up something, or you don't have to get a cup, just lay it on the table, whatever. Pick it up, put it in here, pick it up. This works on that cut in motion too. So she got really good at this, throw this out because 
She's mastered it. Um, let's see. Ralph. This is Ralph. We like Ralph. This is Ralph. Um, so we cut a hole in Ralph, okay? And she would have to, this is Ralph's food. Be careful if they eat things. Please don't do this. I mean, this is my disclaimer. So, um, so these are bees in here. And we would get a spoon and her dominant hand, whatever she, you know, she was right handed. So she had to squeeze because it works on that motor. And then she would have to feed. So we would switch it up too because, you know, working on feeding to this way is you know, whatever. So this is, this is really good having a squeeze. And her therapist told me about that. So she would really like feeding Ralph. So we named him and yeah. And that helps with all of that motor coordination, you name it, that helps with that. Um, let's see. Beating. We love beating. Um, now I'm not gonna lie to you. When I first we were working on fine motor and coordination, I hated beating. I'm not gonna lie. Ugh, beating was torture to me, but it helped her so much. Um, like these are the bees or whatever. I got different ones. Like you know, so she got flowers. You got the flowers, all kind of stuff in there, and then I. Got little colorful little knickknacks here, and I'll let her choose which color she wants. And then we can either do flowers, we can spell her name, or we can do a mixture of both of them. So she's gotten really good at making bracelets, um, you know, when I help her. And so she'll kind of like to do a combination of both, and I'll have her spell out something. Like I'll say, you know, spell out Parker, which she's really good at. We make a Parker bracelet every time. Or I'll say, you know, do a hard word, like one of her sight words, or so she has to search through it and then beat it and then decorate it with some flowers. So this is really good, but it was pure torture to me because <laughs> she was, you know, she would wait there and, and she wanted me to help her, but I wasn't, and or she will beat it through and it'll fall. But um, we got really good at beating both of us. Um, let's see what else we have in here. I told you I just kind of go through and pick like i plan out her week the week before so i'll go through here kind of like what i'm doing now and i just kind of pick out things that we haven't done or what i know she needs to work on for that week or if there's something in school that she's having trouble with for that week i'll kind of pull it out and kind of implement it at home um our teacher actually gave me this this is a good one i'm probably sure if you're autism parent you know about these but these are just like direction cards her teacher was so sweet enough to give me these so it's kind of like um when she was as verbal as she is now it kind of shows the picture of what you want them to do hold hands on the wall um stand up these are these are really good i can't take credit for these but she gave me a whole bunch um really good teacher let's see um can never go wrong with coloring books she hates she hates coloring but it's poor important so i do make her color and we have different ones she can choose from and i just have her pick the color she got even if it's something you know color a page for your tablet and we'll color our page let's see um i did oh this is one i did make a bingo a word bingo so i'm sure you can like google or um I think I actually did this and just laminated it or no, no, this is not one. I'm about to lie to you guys. I actually did one, but this is not the one I did. This is from Leap Frog Schoolhouse. So there you go. But we do use this one. I wonder what happened to the one I did. Hmm, I don't know. But it's bingo and I call out words. It helps with sight words. And somewhere here I actually have little coins I can use um, to put on there. Let me see. little fishies so we do and then these are extra words to kind of switch up the bingo so that's really good and let's see what is this oh um, this is just arts and crafts stuff which i want to say my other boxes are more arts and crafts stuff but um because i spend most time in this box with tools and stuff that i use we do velcro boards we cut out we do stuff like that and then um, let's see and then the last thing in here is my glue gun that's um, I do a lot. So that is it in this box. Like I said, 
proper dress when I'm pulling out this box, but um, I try to plan it out. Don't go and buy everything at one time because it can get very expensive. This is just stuff that I've accumulated over time and I just implement and I recycle, but your best friend, Dollar Tree, I mean, um, Family Dollar, and yeah, um, Dollar Tree or whatever. But um, these are just a few of my things. I know a few of you have asked or whenever I'm talking to different people, they ask kind of what I do. And so I was just like, hey, why not? So get ready to plan and clean out. I'll just go ahead and make a video. If you have any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to contact me or leave a comment in the description box. Um, like I said, consult with your your therapist, if you take physical therapy, consult with them, occupational therapy, whatever. They have tons of tons of ideas they can give you. I can go on all day about stuff they've told me. But um, this is just the main stuff that I use, okay? So, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys 